Hi, my name is Rochelle and welcome to my number 11 home. I'm excited to have you and I promise things get horizontal eventually. This video is one for the books for me. Every project I've taken on to date has been an effort to counteract that cold, white, boxy feeling of moving into a modern building. For that reason, my design approach relies heavily on adding dimension any way I can. So we're talking molding, sconces, i.e. things that protrude or project from the walls, even textured fabrics. These are all opportunities to subtly make things visually less flat. If a couch is supposed to help a living room imbue the overall style of the home, then you can imagine how hard it's been to live with my first pragmatic big girl couch purchase from my early 20s. Now, I am drawn to classical interior architecture, but I love that style juxtaposed with modern contemporary decor. So though my instinct was to buy a modern couch, I don't live in a houseman right now. So I felt it would be counterproductive to drop a modern couch on a flat white wall. Once I knew the direction I wanted to go in, I found a brand that had stylish pieces with customizable options for a semi-bespoke made-to-order experience. I went swatch manic. In the past, I would skip this step, but when you're buying an investment piece, you have to order the swatches. When I say I poured over the swatches, I mean I literally poured water on them to spill test. I had to make sure that they matched the rug I already purchased. I wanted to see what they looked like in certain light, at certain times of the day. And of course, the rub count and what it felt like on my skin was also very important to me. It did take a long time for the couch to arrive because I ordered it in the heights of 2020. But even after it got to me, I had it in storage for a while as well. It was kind of sad to see this couch go because I remember how proud I was of the purchase when I made it. But needless to say, I am so stoked to have my new couch. I opted for the Maxwell couch, which as it turns out is designed by Maxwell Ryan of Apartment Therapy. He says his inspiration was this sofa by Italian designer Vico Magistretti. I would describe this piece as transitional. I love those modern lines at the base paired with the more classically inspired shapes of the arms and the legs of the sofa. For fabric, I chose a happy medium of performance but still with a gentle and cozy feel on the skin. I am completely in love, it makes a great style anchor for the space and I feel like it's one step closer to creating the base that I need to start making more modern decisions. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you will like and consider subscribing but do not share because there's too much pressure for me. Bye!